Let's fix iMessage activation error on your iPhone. Now open up the settings app on your iPhone, scroll to the very bottom and tap on apps. From here, scroll down until you find the messages option. We're gonna do a couple of things, tap on messages. The first one, of course, is to toggle iMessage off. Wait a few seconds and toggle it back on and you'll see waiting for activation and it should reactivate. If it doesn't automatically reactivate, tap on the send and receive and try to select an email address in addition to a phone number. I would also recommend going all the way out of here. Let's go back to the beginning of your settings. Tap on the general option and then tap on software update. See if there's a software update, this might help to fix it. If it doesn't, go back out of here, scroll to the bottom and hit the shutdown button at the bottom. Or you can press the volume up, volume down and press and hold the side button just to force restart your phone. If those don't fix it, let's swipe down from the top right, toggle airplane mode on for a few seconds to disconnect from Wi-Fi and sell data, and then toggle it back off for a few seconds. After you've done that, if it's still not working, let's go back to the very beginning of your settings and tap on where it says cellular here midway down and then turn this line off. So in your eSIM, completely disable that eSIM and then go in and toggle it back on. This is the equivalent if you have a physical SIM card of removing it, cleaning it off and putting it back in. Now, if you go through all these steps and it's still not working, go back to the beginning of your settings, tap on general here, and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and hit transfer or reset iPhone. From here, just tap on reset and then hit reset network settings, enter in the passcode and go through the process of resetting those settings. After you've done all that, if it's still not working, we can go back out of here to the very beginning of your settings again and tap on your name at the top. From here, you want to make sure that you're signed into your account. Specifically, if it says your email address at the very top, that is a great thing. You want to be signed in so that you'll be able to send and receive iMessages. If all of this doesn't work, you might need to contact your carrier or AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, whatever you have.